Hi everybody, my name is Barry Schwartz and this is the Search Buzz Video Recap. Today is Friday, May 12th, I believe. Yep. And this is the search news we covered over at the Search Engine Roundtable, seroundtable.com, over the past week. First up we have to tell you is, there's not crazy news this week, there's no major ranking updates and so forth that I've tracked in a significant way, uh, but there is definitely things that we want to discuss. First, John Mueller said there is a difference between links from a spammy sites and from, um, uh, from links from spammy sites and unnatural links. He said, if they're not unnatural links, just happen to be from spammy sites, I just ignore them. So basically he's saying is, unnatural links are one thing. They can be from good sites or bad sites, which we'll cover a little bit later. But links from spammy sites are not necessarily unnatural. Just ignore them. Um, so going into that a little bit deeper, John Mueller basically explained, like I just said before, that, let me just show it to you. Zoom in, see if the zoom feature works still. It looks like it does. Um, he basically said, as you can see here, um, you can get unnatural links from a good site and you can get natural links from a spammy site. So um, that's pretty obvious, but it's again, it's important to realize the differentiation between unnatural links, which can be from any type of website, good or bad, and links that you get from a spammy sites, which are just, it could be natural links, but they might not be as valuable, but you don't have to disavow them. <clears throat> uh, Google's John Mueller also talked about 404 errors. So if you see a, a 404 spike, um, a spike in crawl errors for 404, that's perfectly okay. It's normal. Google will peer periodically recrawl older URLs to see if something's awesome happening, and they may do that. Um, so it's interesting, which brought us into a whole new topic. And again, we, we discussed this is known. Every SEO knows that Google will recrawl 404s. So Google's John Mueller went into a little more detail. We discussed, like, is there an issue when it comes to... Um, Google using your crawl budget to crawl 404s. And, and, um, and uh, John Mueller basically said, basically said, we generally crawl those URLs after we crawl the important ones, so nothing to worry about. You're not using up your crawl budget when Google's crawling 404s. So then I asked over here below, so maybe a spike in 404s mean you have some excellent crawl budget expenditure, for your website. So it's a good thing if Google's crawling 404s because you have lots of crawl budget to use on your website. Uh, that's very interesting, of course. And in the other event, if you're not seeing Google crawl 404s, is that an issue? Is, is your crawl budget too low? So John Mueller would answer that as well today, this morning, or actually last night. And he said, not seeing, you're not having Google bot crawl your 404s is not necessarily an issue. Um, it's not necessarily an issue because Google's only using extra stuff to do that. So David asks, so based on that, if you are not seeing Googlebot crawl 404 error pages, you can assume that you have crawl issues on your live URLs and John Mueller said, no, it's not the case. And we go into a little more detail based on what Dawn Anderson wrote or asked John about a year ago. And he's basically saying that we use, if we have extra capacity in your crawl budget or in general, we'll go ahead and try those 404s. Hopefully those who are watching live can still see me. Hopefully I'm not completely offline. Um, I probably should check, but. Moving on. John Mueller talked about geotargeting. He basically said that there's a difference between geotargeting and HRF lang. Geotargeting you can, can be used to promote your website in a specific locale, um, whereas HRF lang does not promote. Um, John Mueller said this, um, um, in a Google Webmaster help thread, he basically said, yes, you could definitely go ahead and the question was, uh, can I geo-target from one country while leaving other co another country not geo-targeted uh, to serve the rest of the world? And he said, yes, you can. And then he goes into the difference between geo-targeting and how it promotes your website in a locale, a specific locale, whereas HRF Lang only does, doesn't promote, but it swaps out the URLs based on the most appropriate, sorry, most appropriate language uh, based on the user that's crawling it or viewing it. Sorry for the, the weird uh, webcast because I'm doing this using the beta version of the, of the camera and it seems to have some issues here and there. In any event, um, Google ha agree says that agreeing with us, meaning saying, yeah, Google's, I agree with you that this and this that we said doesn't make you good at SEO. <clears throat> and uh, Gary from Google said this, agreeing with Google does not equal good SEO, he said. And, and he also said many times I'm wrong. Questioning what we say is actually good. It makes 
them rethink what they're saying. Google said this. Gary said this actually before. Um, so again, he, they like when they when you go ahead and uh, question what they say and just agreeing with them doesn't make you a good SEO. John Mueller explained that the Search Console API um, uses the same data as the portal. Specifically, John Mueller said that um, just Ray from uh, Ray from up in Albany somewhere said, "How do we get the full Search Console data?" out of the API without sampling data. And John Lewis said, whoa, 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 there is no sampling data there. Um, the back end, the same data that comes from the back end of the API is using the web UI. Uh, there are limits, like obviously with any API, but there's no sampling involved, he said. Which gets us into the Search Console API does add up totals differently because in the web interface you have a total and that totals um, that total of the number includes filter queries, whereas the API and the actual table results, the export, doesn't have any filtered results, so there's no totals shouldn't necessarily match there because of that anomaly. Uh, it looks like Google's not releasing a search analytics filter, advanced filters, um, specifically for sorry, specifically for um, AMP uh, for other filters. So back in uh, I think a year ago or so, we showed how they're having um, featured snippets as a filter, and it seems like Google's not going to get that. They removed it from their beta. They were beta testing this featured snippets filter in search analytics, but it's no longer being beta, and it seems like it's gone. So that's very upsetting to hear. Also, you're not going to be able to do some regex and some advanced filtering in Google search analytics as well. Um, at least John Mueller said that's not coming anytime soon. Also, um, Google said that adding videos to your pages doesn't necessarily help you rank better. Just by having videos is not a quality signal at all. It just doesn't mean you're going to rank better at all. It's just having videos to your page. Google added a new feature for events. So if you have the events markup on your page, Google might go ahead and include you in their events UI, search UI. So I did a search for SEO events, as you can see over here. Um, as you can see over here, it shows you upcoming events SEO related, and that's using the events markup, which is pretty cool. Google Image Search added a new feature in the mobile version. So if you do a search for whatever in mobile, um, you'll see this little slider up here where it shows you can actually scroll it. The latest images, GIF-based images, clip art, and then a bunch of colors. And at the end, it actually shows you, you know, not filtered by licenses and so forth. So it's a cool little filter that's available in Google Mobile Image Search. Google AdWords has removed the CPC, the cost per click cap. Max you can spend for enhanced CPC, which is dangerous. So you got to be careful about that if you're using AdWords and using the CPCs. Uh, Merchant Center has an unexpected, an unexpected image processing error, which is seems to be a bug. It's been going on for the past, since May 9th, for the past few days or so. Google is supposedly going to fix it this morning, but we haven't heard any results in terms of if they fixed it or not. Bing Ads is going to stop supporting the ability of creating or editing your standard text ads as of July 31st. They want people to switch to enhanced text ads. Google's job search portal seems to be powered by schema. So we covered the job search feature that's currently in beta that Google's not talking about. It seems to be powered off schema. So if they do release it, you want to take a look at that. And finally, search metrics was... Uh, the U.S. version of Search Metrics, the U.S. company, filed for bankruptcy. Chapter 11 after Bright Edge continued the patent suit against them. And, of course, there's lots of interesting comments and discussion around there. The search community itself is very, very upset about it. Um, they don't like when companies go after each other for patent disputes. They rather they go be competitive and so forth. In any event, sorry for the issues with the camera. I'm still trying to work out this new beta version. And, uh, thanks so much for listening and bearing with us. And thanks for all those who watch live. Everyone have a great weekend, and I'll see you guys next. Bye.